Since I've been working in this industry, Microsoft's ad extensions have always been a little bit different than Google's. But one thing that is the same is that Microsoft also offers automated ad extensions. Now in this video, we'll explain what automated ad extensions are. We'll show you all the examples of possible Microsoft ad extensions that could appear alongside your text ads. And then if you don't want them showing alongside your ads at all, we will show you where in Microsoft ads that you can go to turn them off. This Paid Media Pros video is sponsored by Optio, the smarter, more efficient way to manage Google Ads. Optio's platform operates as a second pair of eyes on your accounts, regularly monitoring performance trends to make data-driven optimization suggestions for keyword strategies, bid optimizations, ad copy creation, and more. Better yet, you can save time by implementing their suggested changes directly in their user-friendly interface. Optio is extending their free trial period for Paid Media Pros viewers for 60 days, meaning you get two full months of testing and using Optio on your accounts before you pay a dime. If you're interested in giving it a shot, click the link on the screen right now or in the video description to get started. All Microsoft's ad extensions live in the same place. So within the navigation, find ads and extensions. I clicked on it, we were sent to ads first, but then you can click on automated extensions here, as well as the option up above. Here we see some examples of automated extensions. We're just about to go through each category, but first I wanna talk about what they are and how they work. Advertisers still have the ability to create manual extensions, but automated extensions are, the name is in the definition, automatically created and require no action from the advertiser. It is Microsoft's discretion on when they will show each automated extension. That is because Microsoft chooses when to show it, when they think it can improve your ad performance. Just like any of the other extensions that you create, no extension is ever guaranteed to show. But Microsoft does state that they will typically show up with ads that have higher ad position because those ads you will see typically have more real estate, thus more room to show more ad extension options. As we go through the automated ad extension options, you'll learn where Microsoft is pulling this additional information to show alongside your text ads. But in order to do that, I'm gonna pull open some slides because that'll have more examples than what's showing up within this account. And then it'll also have some visual examples alongside each of the automated extension categories. The first is going to be the company or business logo. And this extension is available for all Microsoft advertisers. Microsoft pulls this logo directly from your landing page to serve with your text ads. Now we know in Google, this is a feature that we can start adding ourselves. And I have a feeling that'll become an eventual feature for Microsoft as well. Next are consumer ratings. These automated extensions are pulled from third-party sources that Microsoft uses. The third-party sources are Review Center, Viewpoints, Shopper Approved, BizRate, or Mr. Rebates. You see with the example on the screen within the blue highlighted box, Ratings is a link. If someone would click on that link, they are taken to the third-party review page. Now, not every rating or what Microsoft says could be a consumer sentiment will have a link to it. Some could just be positive comments or reviews that were found within the third-party sources, and not all reviews will have the link. The next automated ad extension category is dynamic ad enhancements, and we see multiple examples on the screen now. The top one is a dynamic description. Microsoft will automatically create the description that matches what they consider to be better with the user's search query by pulling content from your landing page, similar to how they pull ad copy for dynamic search ads. The second option would be for events. So in the example, they're talking about new Halloween movies. They're not having a Halloween party. It's not an event like you think. However, Halloween is an event during the year and you have copy on your landing page that is related to the event that's coming up. If Microsoft can detect that again on your landing page, it's possible that the additional content that you have highlighted on your landing page could show up alongside your text ads. And then the third option would be a smart landing page title. So the most obvious way this is pulled is by your landing page's title tag. However, Microsoft can also scan your landing page and if there's specifically called out product categories, features, other brand names that you may be selling, they could compile those together to have another landing page title automated extension that you necessarily haven't created yourself on the page. The next category is dynamic callouts. There is an option to create your own manual callout extensions these are also pulled from your landing page content and they are not clickable. But the second example would be promo extensions. It is another option that can be created manual and your automated extensions can also include the title of the promo, any offer codes, expiration details, and what the dollar or percentage off may be. With Microsoft's automated promotion extensions, it is only available if you are part of merchant promotions. 
and with automated extensions, only site-wide online promotions are available. The next automated ad category is dynamic partner enhancements. In order to use these, you have to use the marketing with purpose business attributes within Microsoft ads. That is going to be an account level settings option. When you're looking at business attributes, there are a variety of tags that you can attach to your business. And one example of those is what we see in the first option, carbon neutral. Any of those business attributes that you have attached at the account level could show up alongside your text ads. Another example is in the second option, country of origin badge. Since I'm in the United States, here's a USA example, but these are available in other markets as well, not necessarily worldwide. Another example that we see in the third option is a deal badge. Here I have four more examples for you. Top one, calls out free shipping. Second one is highlighting how many people are talking about you on Facebook. Third option is an official site badge. And then the fourth option is an example of curbside pickup. It could also say in-store pickup. Again, much of this stuff could be found on your landing page content, and if Microsoft can detect it, it could show alongside your search ads. Next is dynamic location. You can already set up location extensions with Microsoft, but if a user is by multiple of those locations, Microsoft could show the locations nearby link. If a user clicks on it, then the map will open and it'll show your store locations on the map. Next, we have dynamic site links. And with our clients, when we've been reviewing automated extensions, these have been getting the most impressions out of any automated extension by far. So the first example up top is showing dynamic site links. One example image I do not have would be the descriptions for your site links. Those can be automated as well. And then the second image is automated dynamic products. In order to get dynamic products, you need to have a Microsoft shopping campaign product feed in order for this to work. Next is dynamic structured snippets. Snippets are another one that you can create manually, but Microsoft has the option to create ones that they feel may work better. While the example on the screen is non-clickable, sometimes they could be a clickable option that would count as a click on your ad. Hence, you will be charged. So Microsoft could look at your page structure on the site, and if it's relevant to the keywords that you're targeting and what their user is searching for, it could show up alongside your ads. Next, we see a couple examples of having longer headlines. And Microsoft can do this automatically in a few different ways. The first option is using callouts to just make your headline bigger. So we already talked about how callouts could work by just pulling content from the landing page. Microsoft could still do that because in the first example, we still see the regular call out there, but Microsoft is putting an additional one in your headline. Now in the second example, any main headline or page title that could be found on the page may also be included to extend your ad headline. And in the third example, we see Microsoft using the display URL as part of the ad title. So those are some examples that could take additional parts from your description or any other title or content that they feel better matches the user search query to make the headline more appealing and the goal is to get more clicks. The next category for automated extensions is previous visits. And there's a few different ways Microsoft can do this. And the whole goal is to try to make it seem like it's a much more familiar brand. It builds trust and people are more likely to click and go back to brands that they have already interacted with. So the first example is just letting the user know, hey, you've been to this website X amount of times in the past few days. In the second example, we see that the headline font has a different color. We typically see that after you click on a link, the link changes color. So if you've been to this website before, Microsoft can leave the color of the link a different color to build that sense of familiarity. And then just besides you visiting in the third example, Microsoft could just show engagement stats. So it makes it seem like, hey, if all these other people like to visit this website, maybe I should check it out too. Next will be seller ratings. And these are pulled from a variety of different sources. Some of the same ones that we mentioned before for the consumer reviews. So BizRate, Review Center, Shopper Approved, Mr. Rebates, but also certain partners like Yahoo Shopping, Trustpilot, Price Grabber, and several others. If you have reviews on any of those third-party sites, those stars, as well as a link to those reviews, may show up alongside your ads. And then there's syndication-only decorations. This is coming from Verizon Media and any Bing syndication publishers. If you're involved with that, there may be a button that you see here added to your text ads. And the green button that we're seeing is just one example. So that is the vast majority of automated extensions Microsoft can include within your ads. Now let's look at how you can review performance and decide whether you want to turn these off or not. Back within the same account we were in the beginning of the video, still at automated extensions, here's where you can review performance of your extensions. If you go to columns, you can modify the columns, 
add in different performance or conversion data if you want to. And then there's a couple ways that I would look at this. Again, not every single automated extension I talked about is relevant for this account. But one thing I would do is I would look at the automated extensions, like the first three right here, that have manual options that I know I've already set up at either the account, campaign, or ad group level. Let's say for whatever reason, I know all of my manual callouts perform better. And in this case, by better, I mean the ones I set up have a better click-through rate. When they're part of ads, they have a higher conversion rate and a lower cost per conversion. That's when I would want to consider turning off dynamic callouts. Now, when you want to exclude any automated extension, it is done at the account level. So when you are reviewing performance for your automated extensions and comparing it to your manual ones that you create, if you have deeper level extensions, like at the ad group level, you will want to make sure that your other levels are also performing well in all areas of the account. So then there's the other automated extensions like syndication only decorations, the last one we talked about with the green button. We can't create that one. So if I'm not liking how it performs, I can just flat out turn it off because there's nothing to compare it to. So to turn off any of these, click on manage automated extensions. Of course, Microsoft wants you to use them all, but you can opt out of specific ones. Notice how it shuts off the entire category. In some of these categories and then slides, I showed you multiple examples and different options for these categories, like partner data enhancements. I can't turn off just the Facebook follower option and only run with a couple of them. I'd have to turn them all off for the entire account. It's an all or nothing feature. So for now, let's just say I'll turn off this one. Choose your reason why if you want to, but you have to select something. I'll just say I don't prefer it and then click save. You will always have the option to go back and look at historical data. And then it's up to you to decide whether you want to bring anything back or continue to pause and opt out of automated extensions. But those are the options for automated extensions within Microsoft Ads. As always, they will have their differences than Google. But it's up to you to come back and continually review automated extensions and see if you want to continue running them within your account. If you have any other questions about automated extensions or just ad extensions in Microsoft in general, please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.